and uh, I really experienced the powerful presence here in this morning. I was really enjoying the presence of the Lord when our kids, our children, they when they worship the Lord. Uh, it was awesome presence here. Even I was really crying in the presence of the Lord, especially when that uh, song came. These are the days of Elijah, and the Lord wants a group of people whom God can use in these last days. We all know that the days are coming to the end. The days are uh, nearing and rearing to the coming of the Lord. Our Lord comes to take those people who are prepared and to be ready to receive Him. I really thank the Lord for this blessed church. It's my prayer and uh, wish that the Lord may enlarge the territory of this church and add many swords to the church and the kingdom of God. And as we continue to be in the presence of the Lord, I would like to take a portion from the scripture. It's from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 6. Uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 6. It says like this, So then let us not sleep as others do, but let us be alert and sober. A very powerful word. We know that Epistle to Thessalonians is written by Apostle Paul, remembering his ministry in the particular church. He was thanking God for their love, for their, for their patience in their suffering, and their attitude towards God's word, and their model of life, remembering all their qualities, Hallelujah. Apostle Paul is appreciating them and encouraging them. The same way, Lord, uh, dear ones, our God expects from our lives too that we should love each other and we should be patient in our struggles, in our suffering. And moreover, Apostle Paul is encouraging the believers to be patient, patiently wait for the coming of the Lord. Especially when he comes to chapter 4, he appeals for purity in their lives. And Verses 13 onwards, he is talking about the coming of the Lord. And he starts the chapter 5 calling them brethren. The very particular words we know that. Now, as to the times and the epochs, brethren, you have no need of anything to be written to you. For you yourselves know full well that the day of the Lord will come just like a thief in the night. Paul says, need not to explain much about the days and the time of the Lord's coming. We all know it. If you want to study about the situations of the Lord's coming, Apostle Paul, when he writes to his uh, uh, beloved son Timothy, when we come to chapter 4, 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1 onwards, there we read the signs of the end times. Then Apostle Paul says, but the Spirit explicitly says that in later times, some will fall away from the faith, paying attention to deceitful spirits and doctrines of demons, by means of the hypocrisy of liars, see in their own conscience as with branding iron, men who forbid marriage and advocate abstaining from foods which God has created to be gratefully shared in by those who believe and know the truth. For everything created by God is good and nothing is to be rejected if it is received with gratitude. And later on he says that when he comes later on he says that the signs and the wonders of this world shows that our Lord's coming is so near. And the very particular verse, chapter 1 Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse 6, Apostle Paul is encouraging 
the believers to be separated. It says, so then let us not sleep others do, but let us be alert and sober. As the coming of the Lord is very near, we should not be like as others do, but we should be different from all other people of the world. We should be different from all other believers in our worship, in our way of life, in our talk, in all the aspects of our lives, God expects us to be different from everything. Because he says, so then let us not sleep as others do, but let us be alert and sober. Because, verse 5 says, for you are our sons of light and sons of day. We are not the sons of darkness. We are not the sons of this world. But we are the children of God. And we are the sons of light. And we are the sons of day. So we should be different from all other individuals, all other believers. I don't know how many of us have that real thirst and desire to be different from all or everyone. All the believers. I would like to bring your attention few of the people who played an important role in their ministry and dedicated their life to be separated from the Lord and God honored them. Especially when we come to the Old Testament, 2 Kings chapter 2, there we, we read about a man of God, 2 Kings chapter 2, verse 1 onwards. Then we read a master about a master, Elijah, and his disciple, Elisha. Their journey towards Jordan, we know that. He started from Gilgal, Bethel, then Jericho, and Jordan. And as we know that, Elijah had many disciples, but among them, there was a particular person, his name is Elisha. Number of disciples, but among them, there was a man of God who had a different expectation, a different desire to be different from all other disciples. He was Elisha. What was his desire? He had the desire that I want a double portion of the Holy Spirit in my life. I want a double portion of the anointing in my life. He could have one among them, but he wanted to be different from all other disciples of Elijah. The same way. The answers. Other dear ones in the Lord. We also should have the same desire to have the double portion of the anointing in our lives so that we may glorify the Lord wherever he sends us. Even if it is college or business life or in the office, in the church, wherever we are, if we want to be different in the eyes of the Lord, we need that double portion of the anointing in our lives. Therefore, Elisha had the same desire that I want to be different from all other disciples. We read that God honored his desire. He continued to walk with his master. Even the disciples, his friends, discouraged him in many ways, saying to him, don't follow him. Do you know whether he will be taken it or not? Will you receive it? Discouraging words came out of the dear ones and near ones of him. Let, uh, but he did not discourage himself. He said, I will see it. I will receive it. And he received the anointing from the Lord. As we saw how sung that song, these are the days of Elijah. How we have, do you have that great desire to be different from all other people? And Elijah received that double portion of anointing. And later on, when we come to 2 Kings chapter 3, there we read about uh, uh, chapter 4 verse uh, 9 the Shunammite testifies about Elijah chapter 4 verse 9 and she said to her husband 
Yes. Yes. Mm. 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 See, here a woman testifies about the servant of the Lord. There she, she said to her husband, Behold, now I perceive that this is a holy man of God passing by us continually. This is what the testimony. She says, See, here is a man of God. He is a holy man of God. He passes through our house continuously. Even when we come to 2 Corinthians chapter 2, the Apostle Paul says like this, 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14 and 15. But thanks be to God who always leads us in triumph in Christ and manifests through us the sweet aroma of the knowledge of him in every place. For we are a fragrance of Christ to God among those who are being saved, among those who are perishing. See, Apostle Paul is saying, a God is faithful to lead us and he is faithful, faithful to give us a victorious Christian life. Amen. And he says, and manifest through us the sweet aroma of the knowledge of him in every place wherever you are Amen. God is faithful to bring that aroma out of your life Amen. and the very next verse he says for we are fragrance of Christ to God among those who are being saved and among those who are perishing Amen. this is the difference those who are being saved and those who are perishing. Rechikyapadunna vredeim, Nashikyinna vredeim edeim, Nyangal Kristu vinde, Saurabhya vasana yavudu. This is what God expects from our life. These are the end days. We are coming to the last days of our lives. God wants us to be different from everyone and receive a double portion of the anointing and Send the fragrance of Christ to those who are being saved as well as to those who are being perished. Nashikinna da yede ilum, Rechikinna da kapata yede ilum, Christu vena saura bhiyavasana, Vulik padutthu nnavera yinilkuvan, Shurgatana daivam, Namala kurcha agirekiyana. In the case of Elisha, we know that he was a great fragrance to everyone, not only to the Israelites, even to the Gentiles even. We know about Naaman. He was a stranger to the law of Israel, to the law of Moses. But a small girl in that house said, there is a prophet in Israel. If my master goes there, he'll be healed. See, this is the testimony. She was there in the house of that man and she was ready to testify about the Lord of Israel. She was a fragrance to that house. And through her, there came a deliverance in the family of Naaman. Naaman, he was trying to be healed. He spent a lot of money. He had a lot of influence, but nothing happened. But with the word of a small girl, he received the healing the same way. If you are ready to be different wherever you are, God is faithful to use you mightily for the deliverance of souls. Amen. Every day I read now, with this to the pulat to one number tayar agan nangil. Sheshamul lavare pole agaade. Karta ve na kida ta tiri nyar tiri chalan jivanda. Recognize the will of God. Jiu da ta samar pikinu engil. There will be a great miracle that happened, that will happen in our lives. Actually, even good, a small girl God used. Even Elisha was ready to be different in his time. God used him mightily. The same way, when we come to the book of Daniel, there we read about a group of youths, youngsters, who saw the Lord in a foreign land. Their testimony is so great 
the world kingdom, Babylonian kingdom, recognized their Lord. When Nebuchadnezzar declared, the Lord of Daniel is gracious and he is powerful. And everyone should worship him. That was the decree, decree and the declaration of the Nebuchadnezzar. When we come to book of Daniel chapter 1, there we read about them. And verse chapter 1 verse uh, 4 onwards, it says, Youths in whom was no defect, who were good looking, showing intelligence in every branch of wisdom, endowed with understanding and discerning knowledge, and who had ability for saving in the king's court, and he ordered him to teach them the literature and language of the Chaldeans. So now Nebuchadnezzar is <coughs> choosing and electing few youths to learn the wisdom, the knowledge of the Babylonian kingdom. And there were, there were a lot of youths elected and chosen, and they brought in the palace of Babylonian kingdom. And the first fifth, five, fifth verse, the king appointed for them a daily ration from the king's choice food, uh, food and from the wine which they drank and appointed that they should be educated three years at the end of which they were enter the king's personal service. Verse 6 is the particular verse. Now, he among them from the sons of Judah were Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. Look into that particular word. Now, among them. Avarudak kutatil. Aragutatil. Tiranjad kapata yawana karna kutatil nalverunayrun. Among them, those who were chosen, among them there were four youths. The youths from Judah. They had a decision in their life. They had a determination in their life. Though we are in the palace of the king, Nebuchadnezzar, we will not define our search. And we will not break the covenant which we have made with our, our Lord. Amen. What are the facilities we get? What are the blessings we receive? What are the riches we may receive? What are the opportunities we may receive? The decision was, we will not defy ourselves. They decided to be separated from all other youths, all other youngsters, all other people. We know that Throughout the book of Daniel, God came down in Nebuchadnezzar palace, even in Babylonian kingdom, to deliver his servants. Aparagaran tiri mana meduta? Daniel ne surut kalahiu. Vidu dalik vidu dalik gudekuwan. Awe purutu gundu viruwan. Sorga maranguwan di ayatul. When you take a decision, it is not easy for you to continue in that decision. There will come a lot of struggles, a lot of difficulties against you. But if you trust in the Lord, Amen. if you can have complete faith in the Lord, surely He is faithful to deliver you from all the difficulties. We know the life of Daniel. Those who are working with him, Started to started finding out faults in his life. But they could not find out. So they understood if you want to put this Daniel into trouble only with the law of the Lord, only with his worship, only in relation to his God. So they planned. Their plan was successful. And the king ordered. For next to 30 days, all the one, everyone in this world, in this kingdom, should worship me. But Daniel, he was faithful to God. Being in Nebuchadnezzar's kingdom, word of the Lord says, he continuously prayed. As he did previously, he prayed in the presence of the Lord twice. 
and they found him. Later on, according to the decree declaration, what happened? They put him into lion's, lion's den. Simhatin de Gohele Kerinigalanu. Enal Vajanam Parayino, Simhatin de Wai Adacha Deva. If you are ready to be different among your friends, if you are ready to be different where you are, God is faithful to deliver you from all the dangers that comes in your life. Simhatin Kudi in the Yariya Patalu, Adina Nadivinino. Purutu Gondo Viruan, they were vicious than I, they were. Matu Yehuda Balamar, Munu Ber and Amladu to Padichi and the three uh, other youths, they also had to face struggle in their life. King established an image, an idol, and asked everyone to worship. But they did not bow before that idol. They did not bow before that image. They said, even if my God delivers me or not, end the day, younger than even a pretty child, younger pretty child, he loved you. Raja will interfere with him, a bimba ten and a namaskari killa. That was their decision. Even if, whatever it may be, whether God delivers or not, we don't have any problem. Even if He did not deliver us, no problem. We will not bow before the iron, the image that you are set upon. Do you have that decision in your life? Being a youth, being an instructor, God wants you to be different from all others, different from everyone. The decree was this, if anyone does not bow, they will be cast into the furnace. We know the next incidents. Amen. The Son of God came in inside that furnace. Parishutha Mavekta Matabarainu. A trouble in Pradisha Diana Kunye. Sahodangale. Be ready to be different. Nala Yamatina Maragi Vedana. Sorgamunda. No Rachu Vishosikuan Tayala Ganagi. Erangi on the Bundivikuan. I'm a vicious tena. I'm an Indian village or Yana, Raja, Indian village or Yana. Sadrakani, Meshakani, Abedinago in the Yam. Devam, Chivanola Devam. Amen. Nashich Bogan or Dana Devidum. The chicken over the head, the chicken put in the day. Christo in a sour of your wassane eye. Woolly Kapudua, Namale Deva Kandi de Kimbo. I want to be different from everyone. I love it I want to bring to your attention one more person among the disciples of Jesus Christ. There was a man of God, Johanna. He was different. He was so keen and close to the Lord Jesus Christ. <coughs> Even when he was sent to Patmos, he was faithful. Even that island, Patmos, the day of the Lord, he looked to heaven. He was full of holy spirit, and the Lord opened the doors of heaven. Gave the revelation. The same way. This morning also, Lord is seeking the instincts, the youths, other elders, the children of God, 
we can be different in this end time. Are you ready to be different? Like Elisha. He was different among all other disciples. He had the heart for desire, the great desire to receive the double portion of the anointing. Daniel and his friends, they were ready to be different in the Babylonian kingdom. God honored them. Among the disciples, John was different. While he was in Patmos, God came down. Jesus came down and talked to him and gave him the revelation. The same way, today also, God is looking for such a people who can be different in this world, Amen. not like others. Let us close our eyes. Let us close our eyes. It was just a small exhortation from the word of the Lord. God is looking for some people who can be different in this English. He wants to use you. He wants to use you. സ്നേഹിക്കുന്ന <laughs> ായി പരിശുദ്ധാത്മ വ്യക്തമായ സഭയുടെ നടുവിൽ ഒരു സൈന്യത്തെ കാണുന്നുണ്ട് പോലെ ഒരു മഹാസൈന്യമായിട്ട് എഴുന്നേൽക്കുവാൻ ദൈവം കാണുന്ന അഭിഷക്തന്മാരുടെ ഒരു കൂട്ടം ഈ സഭയുടെ നടുവിലുണ്ട് അതിനെ ഈ ദിവസങ്ങളിൽ ദൈവം പുറത്തു കൊണ്ടുവരുവാൻ പോകുന്നതിനാൽ ഞാൻ ദൈവത്തെ സ്തുതിക്കുന്നു God is going to bring you out. God is going to bring you out. God is going to bring you out. Hallelujah. Let us surrender. Let us dedicate our lives. If we are committed to any mistake, if we are committed to any sins, let us ask God to forgive us and cleanse us with His precious blood that He has shed on the cross of Calvary. Calvary cross is going to bring you out. ശുദ്ധീകരിക്കണമേസ്ഥാനം The Lord wants you to be different in all the aspects of your life. In your word, in your talk, in your life, in all the aspects of your life. Be different. God will honor you. May the good God bless you with this word. Amen.